At the moment you're looking at a mussel farm which expands over around 40 football pitches and um, we farm around 400 tonnes of mussels a year. We're actually shut for an algal bloom at the moment. So whilst these mussels look great and you, you know, the meats will be fantastic, you can't eat them because of the algal bloom. Um, the longer the closure is for, the worse it gets as they start to fall off the ropes. As they, like any crop, they get too heavy for the lines. Being shut at the moment is costing us around between 25 to 30,000 pounds a week. Last year, we were shut for four months. The Shenai project has grown from our work using satellite images to try and detect harmful algal blooms. And we did that first in our research for Scotland and we, we've helped the Scottish salmon farms. And we wanted to see if we could, in a similar way, help the aquaculture industry for shellfish as well. Last year, sales were down by about 200,000. That's first point sale. So if you look at what that would have been worth to the economy, you're talking millions. We're using satellites and models in this project. The satellite data we use in two ways. The first is uh, satellite images of the ocean colour to a very sensitive level that we can actually pick out the plankton and different species of plankton sometimes if it forms a dense bloom. So we can discriminate a harmful kind of algae, the way it grows, from a, a normal harmless algae. The satellite will then help inform the uh, modelling work with the objective of developing the early warning system. Today, at about this time, the satellite's going over, taking the ocean colour images, and back at the lab, we will be analysing that data and feeding that into the forecast. So in this Shell Eye project, we're using um, ocean colour images like the one you see up here, and we're relating the colours of the water to the amount of um, phytoplankton, these tiny microscopic plants that shellfish feed on um, in the water to um, those images. So from these images we can um, say to fishermen um, you might have a chance of these species coming near to your farm and um, we'll look at that based on um, what we know about how the water moves in the area and how we typically expect these events to occur. Yeah, If I could get some early warning system it would certainly be useful to me but not so much useful to me but useful to my customers because instead of doing recalls and things which are all a disaster we don't send the product out in the first place. The project will enable um, farmers to be able to make different decisions about how they manage what they're doing. Um, so with these sorts of uh, guidelines, they can decide maybe to harvest earlier, harvest later, and just decide how they're going to manage their business and where they're going to put their efforts better. It's very important because the shellfish industry has got a lot of potential for growth in the UK. And there's these factors to do with the environmental risks that hold back the growth of those projects. To me, it's the future. If I don't get involved in a project like this, nobody else is going to do it, and we, we're no, none the wiser at the end of the year. Where I'd like to think in 10 years' time, this problem could be, well, it can't be fixed, it can be uh, reduced. Yeah, hopefully it will protect all our livelihoods. We'll have a, a better chance of, of supplying a better quality.